Hello, people of the internet. It is I, Tofu Ace. I'm gonna play some Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> Alright, let's get started, shall we? Shall we? Or shall we not? Okay, uh, I ended up just deleting Blizzy's to wall, by the way. Apparently, it's still working. But. Oh, no, no, no. I tried to delete it. That's what I. That's right. I tried to delete it. <laughs> And then I reinstalled it. Still got messed up. You remember my previous video? It was all blinking and doing some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. That's just me with my my uh, mouse cursor over it. That's not really it doing it. I'm trying to reenact the moment, the moment where the world went wrong. <laughs> so that didn't work. I reinstalled the uh, Kerbal Space uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock. And yeah, that fixed it. So apparently, Kerbal Alarm Clock just needed to be reinstalled. Who knew? Who knew? Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna go to the VAB. Vehicle Assembly a Building. Open up that Dark Star biatches. <laughs> And yeah, we need to re-engineer this sucker. We got some new fuel tanks. And I can add some more fuel to it to make it go far. So why don't we call this the Dark Star Part Do? And maybe even Yeah, I capitalized that, because why not? even capitalize this too oh oh yeah so funny <laughs> so darn funny okay what else do we need let's get serious now let's not get too silly it's been a few days since I've recorded and I'm feeling a little silly <laughs> what what do I want to do to change this. don't really want to do anything to the upper stages. Upper stages are fine. I do want to... Should I work from the bottom up since I'm replacing the fuel tanks? I can just do it this way. Take these guys, two guys out. And... Is that it? Yeah, I think they were... It's the same as uh, two of these, right? Yep. Basically. Ta-da, we're done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is a good start, at least. Since I'm going for long distance here, I'm going to add one of those up there. Think it won't be too tall or too heavy. We seem to have a lot of Delta V beforehand with our previous, so I'm gonna st stick with that. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna lower the rating of the rockets, the engines. I mean, how are we gonna do this? I don't really want to ruin my setup. I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna break it. I think I'm gonna have to break it. Let's just. Uh, it's gonna be like a band aid. Rip it off! Rip it off! <laughs> oh, I hate it so much! Ah, oh, so painful! <laughs> I think I can get away with two now. Look how tall this is already growing. As if it wasn't phallic before. <laughs> Engine, I'm gonna keep the Maverick. Now, do I... I might want to keep the outside uh, liquid fuel boosters as the Maverick anyway. Uh, do I... Yeah, because I'm only losing like, what, like 5 ASL uh, for the engine ISP. 
because it's going to be in... As a matter of fact, what I could do... Well, no, I get rid of that stage before I go into vacuum anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna be fine. What was this, by the way? That's the Vista? Oh, wow. What I might even do is have them center uh, the Wildcat. This is gonna be kinda odd, but I'll do it. I don't care. I'll do it anyway. <laughs> and then the outside, the Mavericks. Am I saving a lot of weight? I might be. Yeah, and you want? I'm just gonna do it all wild, kind of see how it goes. Fast forward, building, montage engaged. <laughs> I'm here putting on the decouplers, which is the basis of any good uh, booster design. Using the fuel tanks and on the lift stage, which is our first stage on the bottom. So yeah, I'm using those larger KW rocketry fuel tanks. This is uh, KSP and the decal of the game on the outside, which is fantabulous. Making sure everything lines up so it'll be nice and balanced in flight. A lot of people who have designs that they, they make things look symmetrical, but when they're in the air, they, they wobble over the place and need struts and the like. It's usually because it's not um, even in the horizontal plane. Like, the vertical plane and symmetry and everything is fine, but the horizontal plane, there, some, something is, is uh, either higher or lower than something else. And it makes for a, a bad day for flight. Jebediah, well, I would say Jebediah would not be pleased, but he probably would be pleased because he likes flying dangerously. He's a great test pilot. So yeah, I'm putting the uh, Wildcat Five, I think they're Wildcat Five or something like that. Uh, engines on the on the bottom since they're they weigh less, they have a higher ISP, just a tiny bit. It doesn't really matter that much, and a lower uh, thrust, which is, I'm fine with. I'm really doing it because of the weight, because I have so many of them, and I don't, really don't need all that uh, pure power to lift up my rockets as I did in the past. Although it made for a really good um, video since I got into orbit really quickly <laughs> compared to this rocket design. It's, it's going to take a little bit longer, but I won't be using as much fuel to get there. I don't know. I might I might change some of them back to the Maverick series rockets engines. I'm talking about the engines, by the way. <laughs> on the top, I uh, put on some new, new larger fuel tanks. That's the size below uh, the highest one that I have that I used on the lift stage. I'm rearranging a lot of the science packages up top to make everything fit. Put on nose cones. Now I'm going to put on the fuel lines to empty out the drop tanks from the outside into the center tank on the on the main body of the lander. Which I have not changed the size of the tank. I could, but uh, for what this uh, what, what I have this designed for, it has plenty of fuel. I'm planning to take this outside of the sphere of influence of Kerbin, outside of its gravitational influence, and get some science from uh, orbit around the sun, or the Kerbal, I believe they call it in the game. And we're doing a new symmetrical uh, layout with the boosters, so it'll, the the last boosters or the last pair of boosters will match up with the lander, you know, and the tanks. And there we go. There you have it. Alright, well, thank you for watching. This is the Dark Star Part 2. Uh, Charlie Sheen gave me the design. And was it Charlie Sheen in that movie? I guess it was, wasn't it? Ah, oh, so long ago. Mm, later. <laughs> As you wish.